Let's bring in Ernest Agaga from the International Federation of Journalists. He's also a former spokesman to the International Criminal Court. He joins me live from Brussels. Tell us why World Press Day, uh, World Press Freedom Day is so important. It's very important because, as you've just heard, uh, we are far from achieving that kind of ideal in the real world. We have uh, many colleagues who are behind jails, like in Egypt, but also elsewhere, like in Turkey, and uh, in Eritrea, and they can go on. And so this is uh, an occasion for us to rally around our profession and to, uh, to call again on all governments to respect the right of journalists to go about their business in, in, the, in total independence, in objectivity. Al Jazeera has four journalists detained in Egypt. Uh, how earnest is your organization trying to help free them? Well, we have had some contacts with uh, Egyptian diplomats in Europe uh, who wish to express their concerns uh, as they see them uh, on the way that uh, the Al Jazeera particularly uh, was reporting on events in Egypt. We were also able to uh, express our own concerns and preoccupations on the treatment that uh, your colleagues and our colleagues uh, have received in Egypt. And we are continuing those discussions. We believe that uh, our points are clear to everyone who is fair-minded and they want to listen to what we have to say. And we are very confident that uh, in the end our colleagues are going to be released. And it, it is so heartening to hear from our colleagues that uh, despite uh, what they are going through, they are still in high spirits and they are still committed to their profession. Presidential elections coming up in Egypt uh, next month, uh, Ernest, as you know. Uh, is, is it a fair question to ask what can we expect, what's likely uh, to be uh, happening in terms of press freedom with a new government, a new president? Well, I think it is, and especially uh, if you look at the theme that uh, UNESCO has adopted for this year, uh, freedom, uh, press freedom, media freedom for a better future. I think this is the occasion for all governments which are in transition, including in, in Egypt, to really consider what kind of format or mode of governance they want uh, in years to come. And uh, as the UNESCO makes very clear, and we have made it very clear for many, many years, that press freedom is one of the pillars of uh, a democratic rule uh, in any country. And lastly, how would you describe uh, press freedoms, or perhaps more accurately, lack of press freedoms uh, in Egypt? Well, um, ever since the crisis erupted in Egypt, uh, there have been incidents where journalists have been attacked uh, while covering pro protests. We have had to send a delegation, uh, a solidarity mission actually, to Egypt last year at the height of the protest to show our solidarity with our colleagues in Egypt on the ground. And we also organized uh, some safety trainings to which we invited colleagues from Egypt. And all these were to show that we know that the situation is in Egypt is not easy, uh, but that everyone, including the authorities, need to be very clear in their mind that unless they allow journalists to go about their business to report what is truth, what is happening, then the public is not, is not going to be informed and then may be able to make their choice as to whether they support what is going on in the country or not. So clearly, the, there is a lack of communication uh, going on in, in Egypt on the part of the authorities, and we need them to really let the media uh, do its job and allow the public in Egypt to get the information they need and make the choice they need to make for their country. Ernest Agaga, thanks for joining us on the news hour on Al Jazeera. Thank you.